Hey, it's Spencer, your host of Business Growth. And in this series, we're tackling the different SMB questions that will help you grow your business. So this one is all about accounting basics. And this really starts from a tweet that I read recently. And I'll put this tweet in the description. It comes from Brent Beshore. Maybe it's Beshore. I can't pronounce it correctly, but I'll put a link to it. And he says, do I need to understand accounting to invest? Yes. Do I need to understand accounting to invest in small businesses? Hell yes. That is so true. Now, uh, to give you some context, I follow Ben uh, Brent on Twitter. Uh, very smart guy. He runs a couple of different companies, intelligent. And so what I want to do is I want to share three things that will help you out in your business with your accounting. First is you need to arm yourself with some knowledge of the basics and knowledge of the things that actually matter. If you didn't go to school and get your MBA, celebrate. You just saved yourself a lot of money and a lot of headache, and you're probably running your business without a lot of skepticism. If you have an MBA, hey, that's great as well. Um, For me, I've seen a lot of time that what is taught in MBA school versus what happens in the real world can be different. Now, I'm not disparaging people that have an MBA by any means. What I'm saying is you need to arm yourself with the basic knowledge. Now, one place that I'd suggest is Khan Academy. I'm going to put a link to Khan Academy's finance and capital markets education. It's totally free and it's actually really good. See, there are courses out there and there's things that you could learn and pay for these courses, but Khan Academy is something that's just wonderful. You know, my kids are homeschooled and they use Khan Academy every single day. It's free. It's great. So that's number one. Number two thing that you need to do in order to get your accounting in place is have a good bookkeeper. So a bookkeeper is different than an accountant. Think of your bookkeeper who you're going to be in more constant contact with. They're going to be going over more of the details, whereas your accountant is probably going to be someone that's on the quarterly, possibly a monthly basis. And also depending on the size of your organization, you know, the accountant and the bookkeeper have those different roles. Now there are services out there like Bench that does accounting work. We're not affiliated with Bench. We don't get compensated, but they've done great things for a lot of different businesses. So you can use someone like Bench or you can go out and find an independent bookkeeper. Many times accounting firms have bookkeepers within them. The big difference is a bookkeeper is a drastically lower fee than the accountant. And that could be really helpful for you. So that second step, get your accounting bookkeeping in place. Third thing about your accounting basics is know your numbers. The most important for you to be focusing on is your cash flow. So the cash flow of your business is the heartbeat of your business. And within that, you're going to understand what is your customer acquisition cost. You're going to understand also your cost of goods sold. You're going to understand basics that will help you out. But that pulse, the cash flow of your business is absolutely essential to understand and to know. Too often, I talk with business owners and they don't know their numbers because their books aren't clean enough. And they make a false assumption that they're making a lot more than they are. Or sadly, they don't watch over their finances. Tax time comes and they come up short. That's something that you never want to experience. It's horrific. And it's absolutely stressful. Now, I'm going to give you one more bonus reason, bonus tip about accounting that is critically important. That's if you ever want to sell your business, Having clean books makes your business A, sellable, B, more valuable, and C, it's even to the process where you can become a business that could be sold to someone that's getting an SBA loan or it could be sold to a larger venture. And simply, if your books are a mess, they're going to pass you by. So in these shorter episodes, I'm trying to provide tips and things that will help you out as a business owner. Again, we'll put links to Khan Academy, to Bench, and the resources that we mentioned. We're not compensated by any means. We're not doing coaching coaching or consulting or anything like that. This is just a series to help you out. So if you do have additional questions or you're wanting topics covered, please send those to us at Spencer at Business Growth Podcast, or you can hit me up on Twitter, Spencer Shaw on Twitter. Thanks.